Children's Home Society will soon be able to address two significant needs, all thanks to a $55 million donation from philanthropist T. Danny Sanford. Kelloland Sarah McDonald explains how this gift will benefit the organization. It's the largest one time gift ever received in the Children's Home Society's 125 year history. The gift is just, it's transformational, as I said, and as T. Denny said in the video, it's transformational for us because it allows us to do some things that we wouldn't otherwise be able to do. That's what Executive Director Bill Colson said to this room full of people during today's announcement. The donation will help with some of the organization's most urgent needs. It will allow us to enhance what we're doing for the staff that are so important to those that we serve. It will build a new children's in facility for us so that we can serve more women that are victims of domestic violence than we've been able to in the past. So it's exciting, exciting stuff. And it will last for many, many, many decades. While T. Denny Sanford was unable to attend the announcement, he did provide a video. There is no more deserving organization than Children's Home Society. The volunteers, the staff, the management, and the entire organization has really done an outstanding job. And it's really, truly one of the most meaningful organizations that I support. A donation helping people in need. We need to be able to continue to serve those and improve their lives as much as we can. So that's what we're going to do. The cause that we're supporting today gives children safety and security. And that's the most important thing. I hope that my contribution will act as a catalyst for many of you to contribute to this great cause. In Sioux Falls, Sarah McDonald, Teleland News. Colson says they are planning to put together a team to help guide the process of creating the new Children's Inn facility. T. Denny Sanford has a history with the Sioux Falls charity. In fact, it's where he made his first big gift. In the late 90s, he donated $2 million to the Children's Home Society. Since then, he's given away more than a billion dollars. A lot of that money has stayed in South Dakota. Some of the most significant donations to Sanford Health and the Sanford Underground Lab. 